Hey guys, it's Cisco here at the Prime One Studio Gallery Store, and I'm going to give you a full tour of the beautiful Jurassic Park setup that they have here. So they have collectibles from the original Jurassic Park films as well as Jurassic World. Uh, so I might start here with the Mosasaur and then swing around to show you uh, all of the ones on the side and finish off with the huge rotunda T-Rex that's at the back there. So just starting here with the Mosasaur from uh, Jurassic World. This is definitely one of my favorite pieces here. It is huge and it's absolutely stunning. So he's breaking out of the water here and uh, has the shark in his mouth. So I'll get you a bit more detail on that. You can see the face of the shark. It's got some nice gloss on it. It's the eye of the Mosasaur. And uh, he's caught it in his mouth. Uh, check out the beautiful detail uh, on the skin and the scales. And then, um, wow, this water. Uh, it's just fabulous. So it's a white tipped, um, like it's got the spray. There's the tail coming out the back here. Man, that just looks awesome. Okay, and then we'll swing around here. So this one is the Spinosaurus from Jurassic Park 3. So he's standing over uh, the broken plane. Um, so there's actually uh, like a little chair in there. And uh, if you look inside the plane, uh, there's some more uh, broken chairs uh, and things in there. They've done a really amazing job um, with the eyes and, uh, and the scales and the details on all of these pieces, as well as the teeth and the mouths. They look very realistic. Here's a little look at the claws. Awesome looking statue. I really like this one as well. Okay, and then we have the Velociraptor from the original Jurassic Park film. Clever girl. Looks like she's uh, stalking through the bushes. Um, she's got the toes raised, like ready to pounce. Here's a little look at the base. Very nice. Then we've got a Triceratops, also from the original Jurassic Park film. Love the little details with the uh, spines and things. And then this is one of the new ones uh, that they've shown off just recently. It's the Dilophosaurus. So uh, this is uh, towards the end of the movie when it's all wet. So you've got uh, like a muddy water kind of effect here. There's the Barbasol can uh, stuck in the mud. So he's got the frills up. Very cool. Here's the East Dock sign as well. Here's another look at the water. Very nice. So here we have the T-Rex from when he's broken through the fence. Uh, he's coming for the goat. <laughs> so there is a little extra goat that you can get with this one. Love that. 
Uh, so here's a little look at Rexy. So you've got the, um, the electric fence at the back, as well as the uh, like um, leaves and ferns and things. And then the uh, broken uh, track for the cars as well. All right, this is another one of my favorite ones, guys. This is the uh, Velociraptor, uh, but in the attack pose. So get you a look at this, because it's fantastic. Ferocious looking face. It's got the mouth open. Here's a look at the eye. And then it's got the claws at the ready. And the tail up like this. That just looks awesome. Here's a little look at the base. Fairly similar to the base um, on the other one that's in the more static pose. But um, yeah, this attack pose just really sets it off. Love that. Here's the uh, Indominus Rex from Jurassic World uh, Fallen Kingdom. So this is quite a big piece. As you can see, the Velociraptor is next to it. Um, so it's standing over the smaller dinosaur that it's slain, which has uh, like glossy uh, blood and cuts, as you can see there. And it's roaring and um, it looks fan-freaking-tastic. Oh, such a cool looking statue. Here's a look at the mouth. So uh, it has these spines. So on the neck um, and there's, I don't know if you can see that, there's some on the arms as well. Here's a little look at the claws. Big piece, but um, looks fantastic. Yeah, definitely really liking this one. So this is one that um, I saw pictures of and it wasn't that I didn't like it. I just thought it kind of looked a bit boring. And then I've seen it in person and it is freaking cool. So um, I'm not gonna be able to pronounce this properly, guys. Uh, it's like the uh, Stigmialoc. Um, I hope that's vaguely how you say it. And um, this is also from uh, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom where it's uh, breaking through the wall. But something about um, the angle of it and the fact that the tail is sticking out the back, it really looks like it's just busted through this wall and um, it's, it's coming straight at you. It looks really, really cool. So you've got all the rubble from the wall here and uh, the sort of bent bars. Brick sticking out, tail sticking out the back. And then he's just come through. It's when he looks a bit dazed from bashing through the wall. Awesome, awesome statue. Have a look at the skin texture again uh, and the texture on the horns and the head. Seeing this in person, I really, really like it. Okay, so then we have the life-size baby blue. So uh, for a little bit of scale, there's the adult blue um, and a few other pieces. It's probably the biggest piece here. Um, maybe the T-Rex is a similar kind of size, but uh, this one's definitely big. This one's shipped already, so people have been getting this in hand. I'm pretty sure this is a production piece and uh, it looks very nice. So this is the Indoraptor. 
So this one also has some cool spines and things on it. Here's a look at the face. Again, such great work on the, the teeth and the skin texture. And uh, so this is when he's on the roof from the film. And I believe this actually lights up. Doesn't have the light on right now. Um, but I saw this last year and uh, it did have a light up at the time uh, in the base, which was really cool. So here is the adult blue from Jurassic World. Really nice colors on it uh, with the, the blue and the different shades. Yeah, great. Okay, and then swing around and have a look at the absolutely enormous uh, Rotunda T-Rex from the original Jurassic Park. Uh, obviously, uh, part of this is from the scene where he roars um, and the banner falls down, but yeah, it's not entirely screen accurate because at the time that is, uh, that's happening, um, the raptor uh, had jumped on him before and um, and so that's not those two things are not happening at the same time but um, if you're not really worried about the screen accuracy this looks amazing it really does so obviously you've got the t-rex in the middle uh, he's got a raptor jumped on his back and there's claw marks and scratches raptor has the uh, his mouth open the t-rex is roaring uh, there's another raptor on the base here uh, and the banners across them and um, it just it looks awesome guys looks really great to me obviously if you're uh, concerned about the screen accuracy then um, this is probably not for you um, one thing I will say is that the uh, banner is a fabric um, and therefore looks like you'd have no trouble not displaying it and you could just have the uh, T-Rex with the um, Raptor on it sort of recreating uh, that moment um, if you didn't want the banner so try and get you a um, bit better details here's the front of the base it says Jurassic Park with the little flames on it and then you've got the large uh, round base it's got the uh, bones uh, from the display you've got the one raptor here on the base that's all uh, cut up there's the rocks again with the the fossils in them and then you've got the t-rex um, it's huge I'll try and get you a little bit of scale there's the mosasaur which is also big but this is even bigger So it's got uh, scratches. Here's a look at the face and the eye. And the mouth. I'll try and get the face of the uh, Velociraptor if I can. So again, it's scratching him. It's got the claws out. Yeah, uh, I think this is one definitely not for people who want screen accuracy, just for people looking for a wow factor and a cool factor. And uh, I think it has both of those things. So uh, they've definitely nailed that. Um, there are a couple of small little uh, ones here if you guys are looking for something a little smaller. But um, yeah, I mean, if you're looking for that wow feeling, um, definitely uh, some of these other pieces the Mosasaur, the T-Rex, um, yeah, I think there's something here for everyone really. Uh, really, really impressed with what I've seen here to be honest. 
All right, guys, uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, give this video a big thumbs up if you love Jurassic Park as well. And um, I'll catch you guys on the next video. And let me know what you think of these, uh, this display here. All right, cheers, guys. Catch you next time.